How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited. Tomorrow we're going diving with my friend Keale. He's been in one of my videos before. We went diving for Nenpachis and Avail Veils and stuff and, and did pretty good on that dive. But tomorrow the winds are going to be super dead for most of the day or at least the forecast says it's supposed to be super dead for most of the day. Not too crazy swell and so we're going to send it out on his boat. He just recently got like a, a little 14 foot strike mission boat. We're going to send it out Hopefully get on some fish, you know, not really too sure what we're going to be going for. Probably some, probably some goats, probably see some uhus, things like that. But um, yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. We're going to wake up bright and early. I'm going to pack up my car now so I can go to sleep pretty soon. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Remember, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out my channel a lot and I genuinely appreciate every single one of you. And I'm super excited to get this dive done for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the water. Shoot. All right guys, so after swimming around for a little bit and taking a couple of blind drops, I ran into this big school of Pualus and in mixed in with the Pualus was this really nice size Upu, probably like a eight to 10 pounder. And so I'm dropping down to the bottom here to try and see if I can bring this Upu in. And I hit the bottom and as soon as I hit the bottom, I look up and I see two Kamanus coming over and there's a big Lua right up in the mid water column. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, my GoPro just bugged out there and stopped recording for some reason. But the Kamanus didn't come in close enough. But I figured that the Uku was probably still around in this general area, hanging out at the bottom. And so I make another drop here. And I kind of land in this little sand patch between these rocks. And for a moment, you could see him right there. So I put my eyes down, glance up again. I can see he's kind of making his way over to me. He seemed a, a little bit more on the curious side, so I start dusting, scratching the rock in front of me, and he starts coming in a little bit, but he's staying just at the edge of my range. Right here, he looks like he's gonna commit, and then he turns at the last second as soon as I start trying to line up. So I throw up more sand, trying to bring him in. Once again, looks like he's gonna commit, and he doesn't. And then I turn to my left here, and there's two big yellow spots right there. So I line up on the closer one, get a shot off. And if you look closely at the top near the surface of the water, there's another Ulua. It's kind of hard to tell, but it was another like 40 or 50 pound Ulua. So two yellow spots in an Ulua. And now at this point, I've seen two Uluas, two Kamanus, but I got a really good shot on this yellow spot because he was right in my face. But yeah, even though I wasn't able to get that Uku to come in, I was still super stoked on this yellow spot. But as I'm bringing this yellow spot in, there's a Kamanu right there that swims under me. So that's three Kamanus that I've seen now. And this is all within like the first 30 or 45 minutes of me diving. So that's two Kamanu or three Kamanus, two Uluas, two yellow spots, both over five pounds easy. So, so far, this is some of the craziest action that I've ever seen in my life on a single dive. And yeah, I mean, I'm super, st I was super stoked on this yellow spot. Really nice size one. And you guys already know how much I love yellow spots. Definitely my favorite fish to hunt on the reef. But yeah, beautiful fish right here to start off the day. Like I said, this was in the first 30 or 45 minutes of me diving, so not a long time at all. And I shot him in about, I wanna say like 65, maybe 70 feet, something like that. But yeah, really nice fish. After that, Keale jumps in the water with me and I spotted a school of Monocalis a little bit shallower. This is in like 50 feet, maybe 55. And so I hit the bottom here and I can see all the Kalis and they're not huge but definitely eatable size. And 
there's a bunch of them right in front of me here and I'm right now I'm just trying to figure out which one is the biggest and so I line up on one that looks pretty good size but kind of gets scared and so I'm just kind of patiently waiting for for the right ones to come around so I can take my shot and eventually the whole school is like sitting right in front of me and so I start lining up on one another one here that looks pretty big then I pick a different one line up on him instead take my shot got a nice little stone shot there and like I said not a huge cully but definitely a good eating size maybe like a one and a half pounder but yeah so so far at on this one dive and we haven't left this spot yet I've seen a school of monocullies three kamanus two uluas two yellow spots so so far, like I said, some of the craziest action that I've ever seen on a single dive in a very long time. And definitely, yeah, definitely one of the craziest on this island for sure, on Oahu. So Keale makes a drop for an Uku, and after he comes up, another big Kamanu swims under both of us. So I make a quick drop here, and I'm kind of trying to chase him down because he was beelining it away from us at first, but he turns around, and I'm trying to call him in, flashing the squid fingers, grunting at him, and finally he makes a turn right here, starts coming at me, so I line up, take my shot, and I landed a horrible, horrible shot right in his guts, like down by his bottom fin, and he beelines it up to the surface. I thought he was gonna jump out of the water before diving all the way down. Now we're now we're in about like 60 feet probably. And he dives straight down to the bottom. Now my shot is horrible and I knew as soon as I pulled the trigger that my shot was horrible. And then it was reinforced by when he swam by me. I could see it hanging off by the his bottom fin. And so I'm trying to be super gentle with him right here. And I know immediately that I need a backup shot. And so I told Keale, like, yo, I got a horrible shot. I need you to go put another one in this Kamanu. And so he starts breathing up and then he's going down here. And this whole time I'm terrified. I'm ready for this thing to rip off at any moment. But the Kamanu is going crazy on the bottom and it's making it really hard for Keale to actually line up and take a shot. And I'm getting super nervous because the longer this thing fights without a second shot in him, the longer or the higher the chance that he's gonna rip off. And I knew it was a good size one, definitely bigger than any I've ever shot before. Now eventually after hassling with this Kamanu for a while, on the bottom you can see him kind of struggling to, to get him to sit still so he can take a shot. He, he finally is able to get a solid backup shot. And I definitely wasn't picky on where he put this backup shot. I just knew I needed a second shot in this fish. And Keale pulls it off perfectly get a second shot in and I breathe up a little bit and then make a drop to untangle him because like I said he was going berserk on the bottom there so I'm dropping down here all the piranha hoggies are getting ready to try and eat him and I start untangling my line we ended up with this horrible tangled mess because of this Kamanu but I start unraveling all the line here from these boulders then start pulling I start pulling the Kamanu back up to the surface to secure him and already at this point I'm so stoked this is it was definitely by far my biggest my biggest Kamanu before this was like a five pounder and this guy was way way bigger than that so I was already super super stoked I couldn't believe my luck I missed my opportunity on three Kamanus earlier in the day and right before we're about to switch spots I see another one and managed to put a shot in it. So, super, got super lucky and especially with a shot that horrible, like you can see it now, how bad the shot is. That he stayed on the entire time for long enough for Keale to put in that backup shot. Just luck on top of luck and managed to land my biggest Kamanu of all time. And honestly, a dream fish for me. I love Kamanu sashimi. And I've never had the chance to shoot at a big one until today. Yeah, really beautiful fish too. 
their English name is Rainbow Runner. And they're absolute, it's an absolutely gorgeous fish. Super stoked on this guy right here. I think it was like 10 pounds at least. Ah, forget about the collie then. <laughs> I put the collie in my mouth in the picture. <laughs> on the boat now I get plenty fish but the boys are in the water right now they're saying they're seeing fish it's making me tempted jump back in but Frank I get these guys right here so no need just gonna relax well everybody just took a drop at the same exact time So we got our two beautiful fish right here. We got the big Komanu. This guy's like a 10 pounder, really beautiful fish. I weighed it with Keale, but I didn't record it because I forgot. But he was like 10.2 or something like that. Super stoked, my biggest Komanu ever by far. And then we also got this really nice size yellow spot as well. Weighed this guy too, he was like eight point something, almost nine I think. So another really nice sized fish. Super stoked on both, but ultra stoked on this guy right here. Shooting a double digit Komanu has been on my bucket list for a while. Glad to finally check it off. One of my first fish of the new year. So couldn't have asked for a better first dive of the of 2024. But um, yeah, we're gonna get these guys cleaned up. Not too sure what we're gonna do with them yet, but I'm thinking for sure Sash with some of the Komanu because I love Komanu Sash. It's like my favorite sashimi in Hawaii. Not too sure, still in the works, but we'll figure that out pretty soon. First, we gotta get some fillets off of these guys, so I'm gonna do that right now, and I'll see you guys after. Yes, all. Oh. Talks going to steam the collie. Look at that technique. What you know about that? <laughs>
is hot. Now pick something on it. Cutting some more because it's all gone already. Oh, yeah. Oh. Zachary Ng. Why? Right, whose house we stay right now? At your house. Whose? At Paul's house. Whose house? Whose? Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright guys. These are my friends. Louis, Pono, Pono, and then Ramsey over here. They got a band called Chiprong and they're gonna play for you guys real quick. A little snippet of how how amazing they are. And they're gonna play you guys a little 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 song. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> It's another Wednesday night The crowd is on the way Oh, and the band is here to play Well, we're living it up on the north side You got a drink in your hand I bet you're feeling like the man When she walks in with another guy That's all. All right, guys. Sorry I didn't film a little bit more at Pono's house, but I was kind of busy eating and listening to the live music being played by Pono guys. But yeah, that's their band. They're called Three Prong. And if you like that little performance that they just did, I can tell you from personal experience that they're even better in concert. So definitely go check them out. I'm going to leave their, their band's Instagram in the description below. So go check that out. And that's where they're going to be posting their the concert dates for their upcoming gigs. So definitely pull up to some of those and give them some love. And I'll probably be at them too. So come say what's up if you're there. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the dive as well. Super action dive to kick off the new year. I couldn't have asked for a better first dive of 2024. Got the really nice size Kamanu, my first double, gi double digit Kamanu ever, as well as the really nice yellow spot and the nice Moana Kali. And so really couldn't have asked for a better way to kick off the new year. And I'm super stoked that I was able to take you guys with me. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one. Shoots, everybody.